Hey guys, what's up? Matthew here with iPod Works. Um, now, just to let you guys know, I'm not feeling good. I'm sick right now, um, so I'm, I might be coughing some. <laughs> but um, just sorry about that. Just ignore that. And um, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how, um, like, if you're you just jailbroke your iPod or your iPhone or whatever, and you have Rock. Um, I'm gonna show you basically, you know, what Rock is, what it does, how to use it, you know, real quick. Okay. So, um, go right here, darn it, I thought I already did that. Alright, we'll go into our iPod, go into, uh, not App Store, Rock. Alright. So, here in Rock. And I apologize for the, um, video quality, I'm just using my webcam, that's really the only thing I have to record. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, maybe soon I can get a new camera, hopefully, that'd be nice. Anyway, alright, so when you open Rock, actually, if you open Rock for the first time, you, you're probably going to have two, maybe three updates for it, okay? And, um, um, just go ahead and install those updates, um, it'll take not too long, okay? And, um, also when you open it, it's going to ask you if you want to make a Rock, um, ID. You do want to do that, um, mainly because you can back up all your installed apps and your programs from Rock, you can up, um, back them up. So um, if for some reason you ever have to restore your iPod, you can bring everything back, including your jailbroken stuff. So that's nice. Um, well, here on the home screen, uh, it's a little bright. Actually, it's okay. Never mind. All right, so here on your home screen, um, it, that's all it is. It's just a home screen. It's a Rock your phone. Um, some news here. Uh, featured um, applications, some programs and, and themes and stuff. Um, normally, stuff you have to pay for here. I uh, don't want to do that. Um, some popular apps. Um, here, uh, something you might want to check out, the, the uh, support and FAQ, uh, the user guide stuff, right? Support and FAQ. Um, I checked out Rock um, compared to Cydia. I just checked that out. And um, as long as, uh, if that information is accurate. Um, Rock is definitely better than Cydia, um, as they say. Um, really cool. Um, okay, so that's pretty much the home screen. And you see down here you'll have um, five tabs. Um, first one is Rock, the, the one we're on. The second one is What's New. So you can check out all the new, um, some new programs or updated, new updates. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Mm. Here, I'm going to grab some coffee. Okay, and you can sort them by um, alphabetically. You can sort them by the um, the rating, and you can also sort them by the release date. Okay, um, we'll go here into the next tab, categories. Um, probably uh, one of the most important um, uh, sub little categories here. Um, you, there's the all category, and all of, of course it being named categories. It categorizes all the programs and the apps and stuff, okay? Um, very nice. Um, Cydia doesn't do this. Um, I did use Cydia. I checked it out. Um, did want to compare it. And uh, no, Cydia does not have these categories. Um, so, you know, we have all our different apps that you can download here in these categories. You have themes. And I'll be making another video. I'm going to actually put it in the, um, the link to the video in the comment box over there or down there somewhere um, okay so here's all your th different themes I'll be telling you guys about that in the other video uh, ringtones uh, if you have a, a iPhone I haven't really actually checked that out add-ons uh, I don't even touch that and then all this other stuff I don't even go near uh, repositories and administration and archiving and that kind of stuff I don't know I don't know much about that um, but if you do, uh, go ahead and check it out, I guess. Uh, okay, the next tab is the search. <laughs> Probably one, the most important one. Um, you all know how to use that. Okay, the next one is manage. Um, so in here, um, there's things like manage extensions. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Manage extensions. Um, I don't use that. I'm not sure what that is, but manage sources. Um, sources, sources can be important, um, like if you're on YouTube and you're searching for like, 
uh, how to download this program because you can't find it in the search area. You might have to put in like a, uh, a source or, so, or something. It's like a source is just like a URL or you know the HTTP stuff. You know the www dot whatever. That's all that is. Um, you can see more about that in other videos. Um, we'll go here to manage. Um, you know Rock ID license central and then go here into settings and um, some stuff about you know rock and all that uh, I don't really pay attention to this down here you can go in here into app backup uh, okay so you can save packages to rock ID check you want to do that so you that's why you want to get a rock ID so you can save all the packages and stuff that you got and then you can restore it from backup okay go down here there's support if you ever need it hopefully you don't need it Oops, did I? No. Um, and that's pretty much it um, for Rock. Um, down here, actually, uh, you can see all your installed packages and your apps and your themes <laughs> and all that stuff. i to grab some more coffee here. Yeah. And um, so that's <laughs> definitely good. Um, and so you can go in here, say maybe you have something you don't really like, you can uninstall it right there. Um, you can update it if there's an update for it, you can click that button. You could reinstall it if you're having problems with it. Um, quick little um, fun fact here, not really fun, but um, just a quick little thing. If you want to install uninstall something, sorry, if you want to delete it, slide from left to right and it pops up delete if you want to do that. Okay, I figured that one out. Um, so, a little fact there. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, well, like I said before, we'll be, um, coming out with more videos. Um, and what I would like you guys to do is go ahead and drop me a comment, alright? Go ahead and drop me a comment down there or send, send us a, um, personal message or whatever. And uh, let us know um, what kind of videos you want us to cover. Um, you have any more questions? You know, go ahead and send us that. Um, any recommendations, like what we do in our videos? You know, maybe we should you know cover more things or I don't know, whatever. Okay, whatever you guys want to want us to do, we'll go ahead and try and do that. Um, definitely want to hear from you guys. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, please check out our other videos. Um, uh, if you for more cool stuff, um, like I said, we'll be having a. Um, I'll be making right after this video. In fact, um, I'll be making a uh, how to put themes on your iPod or your iPhone. Okay, um, people. That's the main reason. That's one of the probably the main reason why people jailbreak their iPhone or their iPod to theme to put themes on it. Uh, so that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, have a great day. Thanks.